today we are going to study about the wireless cell and cellular communication of module 3 CDMA in the previous video we studied about the CDMA overview and its architecture now moving on further we are going to study about the details of the network nodes that is found in the CDMA 2000 wireless systems and its brief discussion So, what are all the network nodes that is available in the CDMA 2000? Let's have a look at this. Moving on to the further, here we have the mobile switching center and the visitor location register that is VLR. The CDMA Mobile Services Switching Center MSE serves as the interface between the public switched telephone network PSTN and uh, the base station BSS, base station subsystem. The MSE performs the functions necessary for the establishment of calls to and from the system's mobile subscribers. Uh, additionally, the MSE in conjunction with other network system elements provides the functionality needed to permit subscriber mobility and the roaming. The visitor location register function is co-located with the MSC. Its function is to provide a database containing temporary information about the registered subscribers that may be needed by the MSC in the performance of call control operations and the provisioning of subscriber services for the mobiles currently registered in the MSC or VLSR, VLR that is visitor location register service area. Next comes the internetworking functions that is the mobile positioning system MPS and um, in, uh, unified messaging or the voicemail server unified mobile mob I mean mobile positioning system in an ongoing program mandated by the FCC and designed to upgrade the United States cellular system um, um, you can see the PSTN and MSC MSC in, um, in, uh, in the mobile positioning system uh, by the, C, uh, the is this is based on the global positioning system GPS and is and it is used to used for the emergency services the ability to locate the caller is known as enhanced that is enhanced 911 or E911 for phase 1, the wireless E911 program, the cellular system must be able to tell a local public safety answering point, uh, the location of the cellular antenna that is handling the emergency call in phase 2 of the first implementations of this location determining system. The MPS uses a form of mobile assisted uh, GPS and triangulation to determine the latitude and longitude of the mobile within 50 to 100 meters. Uh, it is believed that the later phases of the system will be able to lower the system uncertainly, uncertainty even further. Next is nothing but your unified messaging or voicemail services. Uh, new CDMA 2000 systems contain a unified messaging or voicemail service node that integrates email and voicemail access. This node provides messaging waiting indication using short message service and multiple message retrieval modes uh, including the use of uh, DTMF or either a web or web browser. Next is nothing but your nothing but the HLR or the AC, the home leg location register and the authentication center are typically located in CDMA 2000 systems. The HLR holds subscriber information on a database format that is used by the system to manage the subscriber device activity. The type of information contained in the HLR includes the ST that is uh, electronic serial number and the subscriber device activity, details of the subscriber service plan, any service restrictions and the identification of the MSC where the mobile was last registered. 
The AC provides a secure database for the authentication of the mobile subscribers when they first register with the system and during our call origination and call termination. The, UC, uh, the AC uses a shared secret data for the authentication calculations. Both the AC and SD calculate SSD based on the authentication key or A key. Next is PPCS and other nodes. The prepaid calling service that is PPCS node provides a prepaid calling service using the subscriber's home location area MSC. This node provides this node provides this node is going to uh, this node is going to provide the subscriber with account balance information the ppcs node is usually associated with the prepaid administration computer system that provides the necessary database to store subscriber information and update it as needed. The prepaid administrative system that is PPAS provides the subscriber account balance information to the PPCS system. The MSC sends information about subscriber time used to the PPAS for account updating. In future, other additional nodes may be added to the system to provide increased system functionality like inter-system roaming. Next comes the base station subsystem that is BSS. In this base station subsystem, we have the two units that is BCS and RBS. A base station subsystem consists of one base station controller and all the radio base stations controlled by the BSC. The base station subsystem provides the mobile subscriber with the interface to the circuit switch to core network uh, through the MSC and an interface to the public data network uh, through the packet core network. Uh. The base station controller in CDMA 2000 system, the base station controller provides the following functionality. It is the interface between the MSE, the packet core network, other BSS in the same system and all the radio base stations that it controls. As such, it provides routing of data packets between the PCN and the RBS radio resource allocation. Next is radio base station. In CDMA 2000, radio base station provides the interface between the BSC and the subscriber devices through the common air interface. The functions provided by the RBS include CDMA encoding and decoding of the subscriber traffic and system overhead channels and the CDMA radio links to and from the subscribers. The typical RBS contains an integrated GPS antenna and receiver that is used to provide system timing and frequ frequency refer reference. A computer-based control system is going to monitor and manage the operations of the RBS and this is going to provide the alarm indications which is needed for the communication links for the transmission of both system as well as system signals and as well as the subscriber traffic between the BSC and uh, itself and power supplies and environmental control units also. Next is uh, the PLMN uh, net sub-network. Uh, in the PLMN sub-network, a CDMA 2000 public land mobile network uh, provides mobile wireless communication services to subscribers uh, and typically consists of several functional sub-networks. Uh, these sub-networks are known as the circuit core network, the packet core network and the service network. Uh, service node network and the CDMA radio access network. The CDMA 2000 PLMN subscriber has access to the PSDN and the PDN through these sub networks. We have the circuit core network and we have the CDMA radio access network and the packet core network that is PCN. In the packet core network, going on further, we'll study about the packet core network that is in the packet core network in CDMA 2000, uh, this is going to provide a standard interface for the wireless packet switched uh, data service between uh, CRAN and the public data network. The PCN provides the necessary links to various IP networks to and from the CRAN. The PCN typically consists of three main hardware nodes, the authentication, authorization and accounting server. The home agent and the packet data serving node um, with respect to this block diagram which is shown here. 
we have in a CDMA 2000 cellular system the packet data serving node that is PDSN uh, provides the needed IP transport capability to come in, uh, to connect to the CRAN and hence the subscriber to the public data network. The PDSN connects to the CRAN through the A quarter interface. Uh, the PDSN also interfaces the CRAN with the home agent and the authentication, authorization and accounting nodes. In such a capacity, it, is, it sets up, maintains and terminates secure communication with the home agent and the authentication, authorization and accounting nodes. It further serves, it further serves as a point of connection to the radio network and the IP network and provides IP service management to the offered IP traffic. Finally, to facilitate wireless mobile IP functionality, it also serves as a foreign agent to register network visitors. Coming to the network management unit, that is the CDMA um, and the okay, system communication links, uh, we have the, I mean, um, in uh, the CDMA 2000, uh, the, after the authentication, authorization and accounting, uh, server both authenticates and authorizes the subscriber device to employ the available network services and applications to facilitate this operation. Where AAA server manages a database that contains user profiles. The user profile information will also include information about quality of service for the PSDN. The AAA server re receives accounting information from the PDSN node that together with session information can be used for billing of the subscriber. In CDMA 2000 system, the home agent has the task of forwarding all packets that are dis dis um, destined for the subscriber device to the PDSN over an IP network. The PDSN then sends the packets to the SD through the CRAN and the common air interface. A relatively recent uh, thing that is uh, the, the elements of the PCN in a wireless LAN serving node that is WSN uh, uh, provides IP transport capability and connectivity between the wireless network and the wireless uh, LAN. Next comes the network management system and the uh, network uh, I mean, uh, management and element management. Modern wireless uh, cellular system is going to employ the sophisticated network management systems to oversee the operation of an entire work. Uh, the most uh, service providers have one or several network operation centers uh, that serves as uh, that serve as control points for nationwide cellular systems networks. Uh, AT and T has an NOC that oversees its uh, entire US. Uh, uh, the wireless cellular system, cellular network located in the C uh, Seattle, Washington, uh, a typical network management system consists of several layers of management that deal with various levels of the network infrastructure. When it comes to the network management, the highest level of the network management gives an overarching view of the entire network, including all of the sub networks that it comprises this computer based system usually provides a platform that allows one to monitor the overall network the system typically provides integrated graphical views of the complete network and modular software applications that may be used to support the operation and maintenance of the entire network there are uh, five basic functions that a wireless network management is going to perform. The first one is the network surveillance or the fault management system. And the next one is the security management and the configuration management. Uh, lastly, it is nothing but the performance management system. So these are all the five functions or the five uh, performance that has to be managed by the network management. Now, moving on further... We are going to study about the network interface for CDMA systems. When we look into this, we have the uh, devices which are, I mean, uh, network interfaces for the CDMA system. We have the PDNs, we have the nodes, we have MSC, VLR for the CDMA communication, BSS systems, packet code in, interface node and the subscriber uh, devices. Uh, 
so we have studied about the PSTN. We, we know what is the job, uh, main uh, function of the PSTN with respect to MSc. What is the function of the PDN? Everything we have studied about in the previous slides. Now moving on further, let us study about what is the subscriber device going to do. The subscriber device is a generic term which is used to describe several types of wireless phone and data devices that perform CDMA encoding or decoding and vocoding operations for the transmission of voice and data in a wireless mobile environment. Each subscriber device has a band or set of radio bands over which it can operate and various modes of possible operation. Subscriber devices can be divided into two I mean, uh, broad groups or categories uh, depending upon their applications. Portable devices can operate in the cellular PC or uh, in both bands and can handle the transmission of voice data and other non-voice applications. Typically, these types of SDs are used by people for mobile voice connectivity first with the other data capability being of uh, secondary importance wireless local loop devices and can handle the transmission of over the CDMA system and typically are used with a laptop or personal digital assistant that is PDA type of device for high speed internet access. In near future the, la uh, the later type of SD will probably be used to voice wide voice over protocol capabilities that will allow use wireless video conferencing uh, over either a laptop or tablet pc so knowing about the subscriber devices let's i mean uh, um, brush up the concepts that is um, uh, um, no network interfaces for the CDMA systems. Uh, so we have seen about the MSCs, VLRs and also the packet core internet uh, interface core node. Uh, so knowing the concepts of this, hope uh, this, video, uh, this video will be useful to you. Thank you.